get to the concept of somebody preaching and leading praise and worship with no stockings on. With thongy, stringy shoes on. And your legs all greased up. What kind of message are you trying to send us? Because to me, that looked like somebody that's got a whole spirit that ain't purged out in God. And any minute you can just go over in a corner to a deacon and just raise your dress up and hit it right there in the corner. Because you don't even have drawers on. Hey guys, so I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with familiar with um, Juanita Bynum. I know if you're someone who um, probably you know is a church goer, then you are familiar with her name. And even not, because she has definitely had some stories that have been in mainstream media uh, over the years. Um, I know one of the most recent <laughs> stories that kind of went viral. Which was so just just drama filled was when she accused the uh, one of the ministers of going into her hotel room while she had her underwear on the bed that the assistant I guess had laid out for her so they didn't know that the you know the hotel didn't know that she had someone in her room her things were in her room anyway so she went online and made a big to do about it. And I kind of felt like, just like the couple was saying, because obviously he had to go live to kind of um, clear his name, per se. He and his wife. You know, that was something that she could have, you know, took directly to them. Um, and I, I don't think she took it that way. You know, I don't think she went to them first and then went live. I think she just went live. Um and so, you know, um, it's just the way you handle things. I don't know. Um, so now she's telling the girls that are coming to church in the Fashion Nova. <laughs> that's what they're saying. The skin tight dresses and uh, she said no underwear and pantyhose. I don't really think women wear stockings like that anymore. I don't know. Um, I could be wrong. I just don't think people wear pantyhose like that. Um anymore even to church but whatever church she's referring to she's saying that they're not wearing pantyhose or underwear um and they look like what is she they oiling up the legs and all this stuff and looking like they want to go to the corner with one of the deacons and you know it's just she puts so much on the story to the point where like a lot of people on twitter are saying you just feel like she's the one who's feeling bothered right <laughs> There's just nothing else to really make of why she's even putting this out there, um, you know. And, you know, the Bible says, come as you are. You don't know people's situation. Maybe that might be the only outfit that they have in that moment. We don't know what people go through, right? Um, someone could have just gone through whatever, and it was moved on on their heart to go to church. Like, you need to go right now and go in the building and, you know, trying to reconnect with God. You don't know why people are even coming in these buildings all the time. Now, she may be talking about women who are, con you know, are members or whatever. Uh, but even then, there's just a way to say things to people uh, without saying it in such a negative way. Especially when you are a minister. <laughs> but like most people are saying on Twitter, I feel like she's the one that's getting hot and bothered and probably wanting to go in the corner. So she's just trying to, um, you know, kind of push that back on these women based on what they have on. Um, and maybe this is just her way of saying, you know, can you guys not come dressed like this because it is bothering me without her really saying it, right? Um, it could be that as well. I don't know. But, you know, I don't think that... You know, when you're saying you're 
somebody of God. You should be so judgy, judgy all the time like that. And and in that way, um, you know, I think there's a way to reach people, you know, in a positive way. Um, And the Bible does say come as you are. So, I mean, I think that's self-explanatory and and it should should be that way. Because like I said, you don't know what people are going through. And just in that moment, they may just walk into one of these buildings. Um, You know, people lose sight of what these buildings are supposed to be for, though, at the same time. But that's just my opinion. You guys can let me know what you think about all of this in the comments. (laughs) Like I said, she's not a stranger to controversy. She's definitely had some stories out here before and... um, I think that she was kind of back in the, you know, earlier on when her name was, you started to really hear her name. I think she was kind of known for this type of language, you know, kind of pointing the finger at people and telling you what you're doing wrong, um, you know, and how you're not following the word while she's not following the word. <laughs> but anyway, let me know what you guys think about all of this in the comments. Um, so there is another story since we're on the topic of church and church folk. Um, today, I believe today, The Blast uh, announced that Devin Franklin and Megan Good have officially filed for divorce. I think this story kind of came out some a while back, but I believe that was around the time that they may have separated and someone may have leaked it to the blogs or the press. And so that's how we are not finding this surprising because, it, you know, we kind of already was told that they were um, headed for a divorce. So I just wish both of them the best. You never know why people decide to separate. So, you know, I'm sure they both feel like they're doing what's best for them. So I don't really have anything to add on that story. And plus, you you know, in fairness, we don't hear anything about him. We don't hear anything about her or their family. Um, so I don't think it's okay for people to try to start speculating on what's going on. They don't put their business out there like that. That's kind of what I'm trying to say. You know, they're not that couple. They're not on these blogs every day. Um, wanting you to know what's going on in their marriage. And so I think people should respect that. Um, but let me know what you guys think of both of these stories. I definitely feel like someone, though, however, leaked that they separated because, you know, it's kind of weird how that was got out there and then now they are officially talking about divorcing. So I think he said in his statement that they have been separated for four months. So... That's around the summertime. And I think that was right around the time that we started hearing people saying that they were not seeing them together. And, you know, people were saying that they were already divorced or you know, separated. So, but let me know what you guys think about these stories in the comments. And I'll see you in the next video.